Okay, in this lecture we want to go ahead and get our Automation Builder installed. I'm going to go ahead and go online to their website and download that. Although, for you, you do not need to do this because I've already given you the installation file to download. So you can download that directly from me using the link you got in Lecture 2. But I'm just going to go over here because I don't already have this. So let me just run a search, get into their page here. My internet's slow because I'm in Bolivia, but that's okay. I'll still get the job done. I come down here. Here's the Automation Builder Overview page on the abb.com website. And I'm just going to go ahead and download this. And let's see, yes, we want version 1.2. And you can see up here it mentions that there's a 2.0, but you have to go through a rep to get that for whatever reason. Looking at this, you can see this comes in a basic standard and premium version. But the basic gives us everything we need. It gives us all of the paradigms. And more importantly, right here, you can see we get PLC simulation. And that's exactly what we need. So we're not going to spend a penny. We're just going to go ahead and download the basic. And you can see I've already got that thing installing here. It's This is just a little 5 meg installation file. So this is by no means the whole environment. This is just the installer. So once I click run, this thing's going to go. And then once it gets going, it's going to have to download all the rest of the content online. I wish I could give you all of that content uh, on my own servers, but unfortunately they don't make that an option. So let's go ahead and click OK here. And this is going to load up the interface and check with the servers and do whatever it's got to do in the background before it gives us all of the installation options. And once they come up, we're going to be taking exactly what it offers us. So let's go ahead and click on Install Automation Builder. We've got our standard boilerplate agreement. We don't care what that says. We're just going to go ahead and click it. We accept it. We've read it and hit Next. And here we've got our options. They're already configured for us on the left. We're not going to change a single thing. Let's just go ahead and click download and install. And do I want to prepare an offline copy? No, I, I don't think I want that. So let's go ahead and hit no. And now this thing starts installing. This took me an hour and a half to install. Again, maybe your computer's faster than mine, but do not expect this to be quick. Probably if you live anywhere with faster internet than Bolivia, which is most of the world, this will go a lot faster for you. So uh, I, I, I wish you the best of luck with that. And I'm going to go ahead and fast forward at this point to get to the end. And we're getting warmer. And there we go. That's it. We've got our Automation Builder fully installed and ready to go. And from there, I'm going to go ahead and drop off and we'll come back in the next lecture. And I'll give you a very high level tour of this software just to kind of get you an initial comfort level with it. So you know what we'll be doing and where we'll be programming for the bulk of this course, actually. So see you in the next lecture.